What's up guys, me Dave my tech here. Welcome back to another video again. We we'll have a little, another podcast again. Not really, I'm joking. This is a 360 video, obviously. Let me fix my phone. I might hope it's fixed. Okay, what's up guys? Me, this is my tech here. Welcome back to another video again. How are you doing today? I'm on another 360 video tour. Walk from the neighborhood, of course, but I moved to um, Walgreens because I got to get a new memory card for this 360 camera so I can get more storage, of course, for obvious reasons. Now, let me just tell you something. Um, let's get to the video. Uh, let's talk about some topics today. Today, we're talking about what's the topic of the day today? Um, let's try to think. Um, what's the topic of the day? Uh, managing stress, actually. I think, I don't know, not that one. I think we should do that one. So, one of the topics I've really uh, discovered is the, uh, the ability to manage stress. Uh, for instance, long ago I used to be very like a groggy guy. Like a very angry guy. Now I didn't really have particularly anger issues. I was just very like full of like, stressful things. And I still have it, but it's not as bad as it used to be. And for instance, I would deal with problems like uh, the stress, anger, and all that stuff. It wasn't easy though, but I eventually got over it. Now one of the things I had problems with was like Learning to forget myself. Uh, forgetting myself wasn't easy, for instance. Um, I mean, I, I saw a podcast based on that too, which is cool. But for instance, learning to forget myself wasn't easy. Uh, because I was very, like, I was very, like, very in. It was very hard, let's put it that way. For instance, like, doing this was, like, very hard to forget myself. And because of one reason, that's because the guilt of, like, oh, you're going to do it again eventually. And I think that's why it led me to be become a professional. I mean, not professional. Become to I think I, I had to be a professionist Turn and be perfect for everything. Drive. Just to be very perfect with everything, and that's what kind of messed me up, which is crazy. And uh, from experience, I learned that you kind of have to forgive yourself, uh, despite the challenges. If they don't forgive you, then screw them. But if it, most people will definitely forgive you the things you did, depending on the situation. Well, it's not the crime, so that's obvious reason. But you get the point. Okay, what? Oh, okay, I have to turn left. So, for obvious reasons, um, I learned to like forget myself. Other things I did. Um, I still make mistakes to this day, but it's not as, you know, I, I still at least learn from them. Um, yeah, so that's why during that time when I was making that video, I like, listened a lot. So like I think that's why I delayed my channel delayed my channel to like 2019, 2018 for that reason. So because like the channel was like very like full of like, problems where like it's just like I had a lot of situation going on. So I couldn't really make videos and content for you guys. Um I can't believe we got 25 subscribers on this channel. That is pretty crazy guys. It's crazy how we got 25 subscribers on this channel. Um that's a bit crazy. Um, we have all so much in this channel, it's crazy. So, uh, I may do like a 25 subscribers special. I know it's a little bit, but I'll do something for you guys. Uh, which is crazy. I don't know, it's weird when you have to record something to yourself and then people think you're crazy because you're recording a camera. It's weird. As I have like these anxieties as an introvert, I'm recording a camera to myself because I'm really doing this for YouTube. Turn right onto A13. God damn. So it's kind of creepy when you see a guy like dropping the coin into the camera to himself or something like that. Uh, well that's the, of course, the infrastructure. But, yeah, what I was saying, yeah, it was hard for me to forget, forget myself. Uh, because I would just go through a lot with like my, my panic, my, um, what is it called? Mental breakdowns. And it was not easy for sake. It was not easy. It was not easy. But yeah, it was not easy for that adventure. Now eventually I got over myself and stuff learned on the switch from there. And I learned to like, um, you know, be unique and stuff and do what I could do that I love. So, it wasn't easy. <laughs> um, but, for, but the fact that I didn't forget myself, forgive myself for the things I did, 
Let the palms like basically, basically um freaking out of this thing. Not fucking so freaking out. And let the, make my zani worse. Because of the things I did. Let me go over here. I ain't gonna like walk and then this slows down. So other things I did. Well, where did the hell it went? I think when the GPS just gets all forest and stuff, and it just gets all forest. It's weird. Oh, well, I had to cross the sidewalk. It's so dumb. I forgot there was a sidewalk there. Oh. I had to cross the side. I didn't know there was a sidewalk over there, honestly. I always walked this part and then just done that. But there was a sidewalk the whole time over there. I'm so dumb sometimes. But not really. But at least it's quiet over here, so you don't have to worry about, like, privacy. But yeah, it's interesting how like the human mind works because it's crazy though. Now this is the next topic. The next topic I was talking about is like um Yeah, I was uh, so what people don't know about me is surprisingly I'm actually adopted. Yes sir, I'm adopted. One of the is raised by adopted family. Um Yeah, I was adopted. <laughs> Crazy, crazy, crazy bully story. Um, I know it's kind of young. That I know the channel is kind of young to explain that. But yeah, I was actually adopted. I was actually adopted. That's crazy. Um, salute to my mom. Stuff we went through, but you know we evolve all the time. Like Pokemon. <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool, right? Now uh, today's a nice day. Obviously, you can see the sky right there. It's pretty nice pretty good day today in the day of Staten Island so a lot going on pretty good I'm happy that everyone's on the road again now supposedly there's gonna be another shutdown I was like nope hopefully not <laughs> so it's crazy now let's talk about another thing we'll talk about is um online play or actually video games now actually addiction thing. Now people say that addiction is actually um people say that well particularly video games well the songs. Now I um one of the things people t always told me that I always like to talk about computers. And that kind of stunned me because if you look at most intelligent people or most smartest people in the world, um I'm not saying everyone would talk about computers, I'm talking about like the like their beliefs, what they believe in. Most of the stuff they would ever believe, it could be anything. It could be computers, it could be like farming, it could be walking around, doing something unique, it could be building infrastructure, building Turn a city. Right onto Avenue. It could be anything. Um, one of the things that they went through is challenges with um, the society saying like, oh, you can't do it, or like, or like, if you do it, you're not like the majority or something like that. That kind of like shows the shaming. And from my experience, you just have to like do what you want to do and just experience and try new things. And I always experiment, that's what me. I just experiment no matter what, even if it's even if it's wrong. I know it's wrong. I just want to experiment. And that's what I noticed what some really intelligent people do. Oh, it's green for me. Good. So let me go hurry up real quick. Cross this lane real quick. Nice day inside now. God. So yeah, it's it's pretty crazy though. Um, yeah, so that's why like when I was like very like um, young, I mean I used to create things, but I did some unique things that nobody could do. Now I'm not saying I'm, I'm not saying I'm the smartest. You know, I'm, I know I'm not the smartest in the world. I know that. So my friends were pretty smart. And what me when you have, if you're very smart, I feel like you should credit, you know, your friends or other people or any any people that's smart you know and you know and, and not be like selfish about it you know never be selfish with your intelligence always use your intelligence for good and like use it to tell people even if people think that like they hate you and they're against you eventually it's gonna come bite them in the butt so you could still help them but even you can still help them and still make it work it may be not easy though, but you can still help them and make it work for the intelligence that they face uh, or, the, or the stuff they want. You know what I'm saying? 
so yeah most smart people that i saw had one thing one thing in common with with most smart people and that was and that was the ability to actually um one is adapt two is to not let what people judge about them dictate the way they are i mean like not let them not let people or society tell them that they that they have to do this and it would be okay but really in reality if you look at Steve Jobs he really changed the society now you could say you have different opinions about him oh he he make it where it's hard to repair yes I know I'm against that but some people is for him and then look at like Nintendo where a guy who found a Nintendo made Nintendo the way it is now they saved Nintendo many of times Reggie Eisenmail the marketing department all that stuff pretty impressive right and it's pretty impressive how they shape the way um the way it is so i think there's a car here i don't know so i don't know if this car is moving up carefully so they shape the way the the way things are so pretty impressive right and i think that's what the majority of like people should do is just like innovate and um don't let anyone stop them of what they would like to do love to do so and don't do like what the majority of people do and just like enjoy yourself just enjoy life while, while, while it lasts you know take advantage of the little moments in life and i think i was one of my problems when i was younger the much i was like very smart in certain areas i would just like just i would just give up or i would just like not well i was almost about to give up but then just continue but then one of my problems was like I would just like be like very like unregret, very regretful of the things, even the little things I did. I mean, I'm still deal with that sometimes, but it's not as bad as it was when I was younger. And I think that's how I got better managing my stress, which involves about stress, you know. Um, yeah, I did some dumb things, but I forgive myself. I really forgive myself. <laughs> A lot of people that actually look up to me, I'm like. Why you look up to me? I did some dumb things. I'm like, I'm here because I was in like like a residential placement at the time, and Just I lit I had literally people, customized. even staff, even everybody, and even probably this channel too, like support me, and said like, oh, I look up to you because you did a very good job. You saved me. You you actually saved everything. You gave me a lot of good advice. I'm like, why you looking up to me? I'm not a hero. I'm just an ordinary people like you. I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't like, I'm not the smartest in the world, I'm not like Einstein, I'm just, I'm just doing my thing to be part of society, that's all I'm doing, that's literally all I'm doing, why are you praising me, you know, it's wild, you know, like why are you trying to like make it seem like I'm the best in the world, I'm not, I'm just human, I'm a human, you know, it's interesting though, because like my, uh, the most I like my staff, they, uh, they really support me all the way. Uh, especially when I was in this this group home a little bit. Not group home, I call it residential. It's not really a group home, it's more like residential. Because I still saw my mom and stuff, so. And it was all about on at the time. It was some dumb stuff. Uh, I'll make a separate video, but maybe not. I don't know. It was very private. It was very, uh. Then we finally got home. That's what I say, if you notice like my old videos, like they, they, it took place in that home. And I was partly home and then partly not place over there. Anyways, it was unorganized anyways. But I'll make a separate podcast about how to make a good business and why I think it like it didn't do what it did. So, yeah, so that's interesting though. That's absolutely interesting. So, now let's continue with this podcast. So what's also last thing, this, another thing too what's interesting is that like, I don't know how to explain it, but it was like, another thing that's interesting too is that like, um, what was the next thing we talked about? I don't know, how am gonna forget? The like one thing I hate about myself is that I'll forget something and forget something. And then I'll remember it and then I just change the subject. It's weird, it's wild. But one thing I'm currently working on, uh, especially my business and everything, it's just marketing. I'm really bad with marketing. I need someone who's good at marketing. So I'm trying to I, I try to advertise my like my business. It was not easy because convincing the customers 
first of all, you don't want to be a scam. Second of all, you want to have a good compression in your business. And I was watching all the Steve Jobs, like, um, how they market it, and it was pretty impressive. They just use, like, they use popular figures, not popular figures, but popular, popular people who, like, change the world with brilliant minds and stuff, and just say, hey, this is our company. We want to innovate. And I think that's what an advertiser has to be. Now, you may wonder, oh, you should copy that ad exactly like that. I can't because of copyright. But I can make an ad kind of similar to that. But then in the sense where it's our own sense. So I'm gonna make a I'm gonna I'm gonna make a better ads system for like the, for the for the company that I'm working on, which is Valley and LSC. Now I have it on Google already. So the reason I had the um I actually deleted the the, the, the location of it for obvious reasons, because um you know I don't want the people to be like uh DDoS attack me and all that stuff. And I had some debates about that, so I just deleted it. I didn't want to like target it, so I'm probably am still am, but it's less risk now because it's lower, the channel's lower, but I know I'm pretty sure I'm gonna eventually get the gas attack or something. Um it's crazy. And that's why I just changed like I just like and plus the reason I did that I had to verify my 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 what's it called? My um my basically my uh had to verify my um channel oh no not channel my basically my um my basic oh yeah what was it called again not channel oh company oh my god i'm bugging out today i had to verify my company and stuff so that's why i had to like basically um basically change up a little bit it wasn't easy though but and verifying was the hardest part probably and i got verified so i'm a verified business i'm trying to upgrade the advertisements yeah, pretty cool stuff. Turn left onto Marcy Avenue. Now going back to what I was saying that yeah, you're supposed to innovate in business and stuff. And create unique things. Okay, it's a red light, so it should be good for me. Should be good for me. Should be no cars. Um Yeah, should be good. And it's crazy though, so. Um Yeah, it's crazy. Now one last thing I'm gonna say what was the other thing I was gonna say? I oh yeah, forgetful. Uh, complex so one of the things I learned over time is to think of the consumer especially for my business I'm working on um, you can market it this new technology as much as you want and it could be very like if it's very complex for the consumer or like you don't explain it best it's not gonna sell well for any best example would be is the Wii U um, and the Lisa I mean, actually, no. Let's do it. I'm not the Lisa. I mean, the Wii U. Perfect example. Wii U performance points to uh, while, it's, while in my opinion, it's very good. That's the ability. Oh, I've got a plus of straight, so. Well, I had some good products over here. Is that a plus here? Some good products. No products. Well, I had a good, like, um, games and stuff. Some, well, some games, not all. Um. Uh, it actually failed in, uh, in consumer sense because of the commercials and everything and third-party support. Uh, you can save whatever you want. That's the reason why it failed. And it's just explaining to the consumer how the product works, what it is. It was fairly bad with the review. They didn't explain how it works. And it had a bad commercial um, explanation. This is bad. And that's why as a consumer, people have to understand what the product is and how to consume it. I thought learning over time, they, they don't think about complex things like what's the two kilometers of, of this of this traffic light or something. You know? They really don't think like that, you know? They really don't. There might be noise about but holy cow. They really don't think like that the, the, the complex section of like the kilometers, you know? They want a simple answer and that's it, you know? That's all they want, a simple answer. That's all they basically want. Something simple to understand. And I think that's what um, us marketers have to struggle to, struggle to deal with. For instance, the Atari 26, the Atari um, 5200, uh, not 5200, yeah, 5200. Actually, no, not really. Actually, you had two, but more, more, more really the Jaguar. Well, the Jaguar um, for Atari's, I think it was a good console. It was hard to understand, and plus, it wasn't bad, but it was like, the marketing was very off. 
Like while the technology in theory was powerful of the Jaguar, it had bad marketing. And that's why marketing is really essential to business. And also explaining things very simplify in a simple way is a great way to get like a good reputation for yourself and the business or even yourself in general. For instance, me, I always struggle to explain complex things. I mean, I always have to explain complex things. And I think of a simple simplification or to explain in a simple way. I think that's why me and my mom sometimes have like arguments of like my opinions because I just like I just like think complex and then they kind of confuse mom and then we get an argument weird argument but not necessarily a bad argument but it can be an argument if I just if I just say talk about complex things especially when it comes to electronics and she's not into it now the way you convince someone if they're not into a device or anything you have to simplify for them you have to simplify it you don't say what they want but what you want to tell them is to simplify in their own way, in a consumer way. Why am I buying this product for? Who's going to buy it? Who's going to use it? What's the audience for? The Wii is a perfect example of successful marketing and successful simplify simplification. Well, I didn't target the hardcore gamers, it targeted like the basic audience of people, like us, me, your average Joe, all that stuff. But I mean, me, because I, I do YouTube videos, that's different, but. The like garbage Joe, you're like race car, race car Johnny, for instance. So once you simplify that, you have a great marketing team. And when you market something easily, it could be, it becomes really easy to market. You know? And I learned that from experience, from the struggles of talking complex things. And just not understanding what the consumer wants. And also what 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 the what the person wants in the conversation. And I think like this is why I'm taking public speaking class right now for in college to better myself in public speaking. And I think that's one of the struggles that I, uh, I struggle with, just like explaining complex things. Now it could be my speech impediment problem, which people also said too, but it's really not. This is I when I explain in a complex way, I just can't take a deep breath. Turn right onto Alberson Avenue. And it leads me to talk about very complex things. This is bad. So that's why you should some that's why you should simplify things. Okay, we made a we made a Walgreens. I'm not going to the store, but I'll be right back. So yeah. Uh, I'm not going to the store, but we'll, I just took a little walk instead. But yeah, let's get back. Let's get back home now. I'm going back home. I just going to the park now. So let's go to um I'm going to PS4. Go to PS4. And then go to um actually no, school. We may have to I have go to PS4 and then Go to uh, what's it called? Village, Village Greens. I'm gonna go to Village Greens. Let's do Village Greens. I don't mind the camera angle, but I'm trying to try to check this in. Hopefully, there's no people there. Let me just close this out. How many advertisements? Village. That's what I L L. Village Greens. Village Greens Park. Is that? Is that? There we go. Okay, start. One point miles. All right, let's keep it off on the road. We're going to Village Greens now. So let's continue. So yeah, this is the walk I made, like this long, this long walk I did with the um, 360 camera. So I hope you're liking this content. Make sure you subscribe to my channel once again. And pretty cool stuff. So it's a nice day out once again. So let's get ready for part two. This is part two of this ride. Um, not really a walk I made. It's just cool. Watch out for the potholes. Holy crap. How many potholes? So pretty crazy. So let's continue with this walk. So, it's just like, okay, it didn't walk enough, okay, good. So what's cool is that like, um, what's the next topic we should talk about now? I don't know what we'll talk about now. Hold on. Oh, it's itchy. Oh, God. So what we should talk about now? What's the next topic we should talk about? Um, um, what was the next talk about? I did like, I did the marketing part of it and what else we talk about? 
Um, Arguments? Argumentative. What causes the argument? Now today the next part we're talking about is um some Oh yeah, we may do a story time, yeah, story time. So yeah, Turn welcome. right onto West Caster Place. Yep. So welcome back um to this other part of this video. Um today we're gonna do a story time now, uh, which is cool. We did the we did the classic, you know, random stuff, but we're now gonna do a little story time. And stuff. So I did a video last time about the girlfriend I had. Um, but we were met. We were, I just did that for trolling and not really, not really trolling, but more like for joking around. It was more like my best best friend. But honestly, who knows? I don't know. Honestly, don't know. So hold on. He pulls this video for a second. All right. All right. I'm back for part two. Holy crap! I had delay on the eight train. And. Yeah. A little bit delayed because um this freaking like oh, i don't know nothing so i had a delay because i had to pull off someone from this man and stuff that's it and it delayed in my videos so uh, don't mind about that now it's probably editing out obviously because you know it's easy to edit these 360 videos easily um but look like i can edit it out easily it's more what we were saying story time right so i remember the time that i was like very young and now i told the story about that the um the, how I got met Bianca story, okay? Now I'm gonna talk about the part two of it because I didn't make a part two of it for obvious reason. Now one of the okay, so one of the story was back at oh by the way, that's good luck. So one of the things I noticed that like back in the day was that I was gonna do it at one point. Why is there so many cars now? All of a sudden there's so many cars. There was no cars before and now there's a lot of cars. What the hell's going on? Is this a circus? Well, let's continue. So back in the day, there was a, a lot going on, for instance. For instance, I had to deal with someone. Um, I did with problems, and there was a lot going on. There was a time where I was actually grounded on my birthday. Yes, that's right. I was actually grounded on my birthday. And all days, your birthday. You may wonder, but Matthew, was it that bad? It probably wasn't that bad. Now, here's the thing. Now, I'm not going to mention the name of the person because I probably be obvious reasons. Because I don't want to get caught by a streak. And B, I don't want to get targeted by this person. But let's put it this way. Let's put Pop. Your Pop is your top. The Pop was the type of guy to be smoking a lot. He was the type to smoke a lot. No, not my other. Not my other. Not the other. Not the. We're talking about Pop. Pop was the type of time to really like to smoke a lot, you know? Very smoke a lot. We call it Smokey Smokey. Smokey Smokey Bear was the type to like smoke a lot, um, do some average things, like not average things, do some like, do some like unique things that is kind of odd, that you think like you're out of culture basically, you know? I want to say exactly because, you know, he may be, um, coming back, he may be watching me from the heavens, who knows, I don't know. So, Smokey Smokey, uh, for instance, a long time ago. I was gone for two weeks. Yeah, yes, that was that's right. That's right. I was gone for two weeks. Now I gotta admit, I was dumb. I was a kid. I was dumb at one point. Now even though I said kids are smart, sometimes we all do some dumb stuff at one point in time. Now, we're humans, you know. I feel, I feel like they could probably take over the world, all aliens. So that's another story. But I'm not talking about that. I'm not going to the hospital for that. So let's talk to this. So a while back, I used to be very like. Uh, unstable. I basically was like basically Windows Vista of myself. Basically. I was known as Project Vista. That's how bad it was. Yeah, you, can, yeah, you know how Vista was unstable? Yeah, it wasn't unstable. It was basically unstable. It was basically the, the next Vista. You know? And after that was 7, of course. You know, it was bad. But during that time, it was Vista. Vista was bad. Really bad. And during that time, I was kind of do. I, I would do some dumb things. It felt, honestly, it felt like I was smoking a blunt, in a sense of my emotions. But it just kept getting addicted. It was very addicting. And I didn't realize until recently how bad it was. And I just stopped doing those things I used to do back in the day. I mean, you know, now I just get ang regular angry. But I won't make it worse at that point. You know, I just get regular angry and that's it. That's it. Use my regular emotions. The only problem is people think that 
or freaked out or get angry easily which leads to like thinking like oh you're freaking out you have an episode again i'm gonna call you and the, you know the, how flashbacks to the original situation and that's what i have to worry about now but it's fine it's back to the story for now time now back into this is totally different this is when i was uh, going gorilla zone like this is going like vista zone like project vista really bad so, for instance, I, I thought it was idea to, like, basically have problems with my parents. Which you should never do. Rule number one, if you ever have problems with him, just do not. But during that time, I thought it was okay. But I realize now that, like, I think it was just my mental illness. It wasn't because I was a bad kid. Because I wasn't necessarily a bad kid. And that's always the debate of the season. For instance, people thought it was the video game's fault. I had some people like that we to help try to help us thought that the video games was the case that made me that made me freak out like that but it wasn't that the first the video games actually relaxes the hell out of me and escape from reality which I feel like people should start research into it like see how video games relax the hell out of you you know what I'm trying to say or let me put my phone in the charge because it came out of the charger but you get the point when it comes out the choice you know what i'm trying to say oh it's charger okay it's like charger okay. so you get the point you know and it's crazy how like you know they thought it was the video game's fault of what that that would cause it and stuff you know it's pretty ridiculous honestly in my opinion you know what i'm trying to say it's ridiculous so hour has passed and then eventually um they ground me for two Turn weeks. Now, luckily, I didn't went to the hospital that day. Um, it was just good, but I was stu but I was grounded though. It was not fun. Let me tell you, being grounded for your brother is not the actually being grounded when you have don't have a dad, but you're grounded for your brother was not fun. Let me tell you, it was not fun, especially the one who's a smoky smoky and does like a lot of you know cars, baseball. And your average jock, we call it like that. Now the problem was, is that when I go to therapy, I will always, he would make it seem like that, oh, you get a new device, a new electronic, and I always get, always get excited. But guess what, Sonny? I didn't get that new car or that Ferrari or that new device. I'm not trying to be spoiled or anything, but it was literally around Christmas time. And you know who got me, mo uh, yeah, I'm not trying to, like, I, I, I get it, I get it, you know? I get it. I was bad, you know, I, I would not deserve it. I didn't deserve it. I know I didn't deserve it. Well, what's weird is he make it seem like I deserve it. What's weird, he make it seem like I deserve it and purposely tricked me to like think that, oh, you, you, you get it. You get it, even though you're doing bad. And then I don't get it, and then I'll get tricked. It's so funny. But that's why I always listen to my mom. But like, if I get the stuff, because I know if I'm doing good, I'll get it. If I'm doing bad, I, I don't get it. I mean, there's stuff he gave me, like, you know, cologne, what stuff. I mean, I'm not saying he's a bad brother. I'm not saying he's bad. But there's problems. It's just some heads are weird. It's like, it's like, it's like one of those relatives. That it's like, it's like one of those relatives in the mid. It's like those relatives, like, it's like Windows 10, you know? It's like, you know, like your relatives of the operating system. It's like Windows 10, right? Like, you love it. You love it when you're a kid. And then, like, when you get older, it kind of sucks because the update just fails dramatically each time. And it's one reason why I switched to Linux. But you still, you have to still stick with it because most of your programs run on freaking Windows and you can't get out of it. It's like your, it's like your brother who's, who's stuck in the revolution and who owns the house and you can't do nothing about it. You, you're mad broke, you're forced to pay off for Windows. That is not the best, but it's something. And you can't do nothing because your job depends on it. So you're like, oh man. Well, you can switch to Linux. The problem is, you know, I, mean, I love Linux, I'm wrong. But there's certain things like Adobe Premiere. Certain things like Adobe Premiere you can't get on freaking Linux. So you're forced to use Windows. It's like you're basically your brother like that. It's interesting. Now for obvious reasons, I can better manage my stress eventually. You know, which wasn't easy, but during that time, I didn't know how to manage stress like that. You know? And it led to problems and problems. Which is pretty crazy. Can't breathe, holy crap. This is pretty crazy. Okay, there's a car coming. Let me cross the street real quick. Which is pretty crazy, though. So, 
Now, it's crazy though, but one last thing I gotta say, but like, okay, um, it was crazy though, because I, I, I used to be very, like, very harmless with like disability and stuff, but it was crazy. Now, it's, it's still a debate if whether I have any other illness, because when I walk in public, I feel fine. You know, I feel perfectly fine. Not perfect, but something. But honestly, I feel like sometimes it's a generation, because back in the day, you probably would, you already would ground me, but that was the best they could do. You know? It wasn't like I had a mental illness back in the day, but now, it's like I look at the, like, the, the, the side of, like, what's the mental illness effects of it? And it's like, there's every, like, like, if you, like, just use your phone all day, oh, your addiction. Which everybody uses their phone all day at one point in time. And then you have the other one, which is like, oh, you're walking around talking to yourself. You're pointing a camera to yourself. You're talking to yourself. You're crazy. So you're like, oh, you're like something, something disability. It's, it's weird. It's weird. Like, look into it. I honestly believe, like, the mental. Like, there's some mental illness that makes sense. Like, the PTSD, that's actually a real thing. That's actually real. But there's some that does not make any sense. Like, behavior disorder. That's basically the same. You're listening to your parents. With the mental, mental disability. Like, that's why I said when I was admitted to, like, those hospitals. And when they try to, like, say I have this disability. Some, some of this disability does not make any sense. Some of them, mo most of them make sense. But some of them just did not make any sense. You know? Because it says, like, oh, behavior or something. I did have a behavior problem. But here's the thing. I would listen in school. So how does that make sense? And they would change it each time I freak out. That's, like, that's how you know the mental illness... The mental system is bullshit. Bullshit. Excuse my language. Sorry. Yeah, it's different. I'm not trying to get misinformation. I hope I don't get sued for that. But you get the point. One other story, though. Holy crap, I can't breathe. So, come back to the story. But, yeah, that's crazy how, like, you know, back in the day. Let me start to touch my arm. This arm hurts. This arm hurts a little bit. This I hope it's all there. But you get the point, you know? It's crazy, though pretty crazy though so you get the point of like you know all what's going on and stuff so it's crazy how like you know you could be labeled with stuff and like that but I, I mean i gotta admit i do have a missile silly too but it's not perfect you know yeah, so it's a good gift for person you ever tell them like this you have some problems displayed online so no so it's a gift for the person though. so the majority story don't freak out don't be a dumb dumb or else you don't know but see, I mean, not you can, or else you get problems like this. You cross the street because I gotta hurry up. Or else you have some problems like that. This is crazy though. No, you know, it's not perfect. So, I 37 minutes for this. So, yep. So, pretty crazy though. How many minutes? I have 60 minutes. Okay, I'm good. If I walk 15 minutes, you'll be having enough time. Right, I'm just careful with this because I got it. You know, so, I got it too. It was about. So, yeah, that's the, that was my story basically when I was like very young. But this is dumb things. This is dumb things. I still do dumb things this day. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's wild how we change. It evolved as a channel. Now I don't know if something happens to my channel, at least you can know that like of what happened, so Ooh, can't breathe, holy crap. So at least you get the point though. Now the next thing we'll talk about is the um, um what was the next thing we'll talk about? Honestly forgot the next thing we'll talk about. So what was the next thing we'll talk about? Um um, I thought what we would talk about. Oh, earn and respect. Let's do that one. So the next thing we'll talk about is earn and respect from your, from kids, particularly, or like any, or anybody. Whatever you could apply this to. Now, one of the problems that my family member has to face, I'm not going to say names, but I'm going to call this the, the boulder. All right, so you have boulder, you have boulder and rock, rock and boulder. Rock was the type, you know, to look, look for new people, date them, and then it leads to problems always, all the time. Now you may wonder, but Matthew, if it does cause the problems, you should quit the person immediately before it gets worse. But the problem is the rock. I'm not, I'm not talking about that rock. I'm talking about just a rock, like rock. Didn't get to get, didn't get out. 
didn't get out of the situation and it always leads up really worse so Broder, for instance, so for instance, Ralph would date someone named Broder and it would cause problems. But my experience for Boulder, Boulder was the type of lady that would cause problems. Now it was a summer, it was one summer where I was just chilling. I was just chilling. And they were like, oh, and my mom was like, oh, Rock and Boulder has to come to the house for the summer to watch us. I'll be busy with my appointments. So I was like, okay. Oh, and who is? Guess what? It was Rock and Boulder. Rock and Boulder was the type to like make us go to bed really early. Now I understand, I, I was a kid, you know. I was a young kid, you know. But you mean wonder early? Okay, you mean school? What what is it? No, I'm talking about literary in the summer. Literary in the 90 degrees weather, summer. Oh you have to oh oh summertime? You had to go to bed early. Yep, I had to go to bed early, isn't that like, in the summer. That's actually pretty ridiculous. So you may wonder. But why though? To this day, I don't know. For a rock and motor, I had to deal with this for the whole summer. About the whole summer. And guess what that happened? It led to me rock and motor. I had to freak out and went to Rumsey. Clumsy Rumsey. It was not fun though. And yeah, it was not fun. It took like, I think like three, five months. That I had a mental breakdown and look, it just went to Rumsey, honestly. It was pretty ridiculous, honestly. Pretty damn ridiculous. It was not fun either. Let's continue with the story though. The Rock and Boulder, for instance, I mean, don't get me wrong. Rock was awesome. He was awesome, dude. The problem is, he was with the wrong woman. The wrong freaking woman. And it was really ridiculous, honestly. Rock, the Rock was awesome. He was very awesome. Uh, awesome brother to hang out with. Very awesome, cool. The problem is, he was with the wrong woman. And he always makes the same mistakes. I'm not saying, I'm not saying he's perfect. He's, I'm not saying he has to be perfect. No one's perfect, okay? And that's what I learned, you know? For me, I think that's why one of my strengths of me is that, like, I manage to, like, get away from the situation before it gets worse, you know? All right, let me pause it right here. All right, let me put this down. So, yeah, I basically managed to get away from the situation that gets worse. And that's the beauty of it. So, Rock and Boulder gets stuck in the process. It's like a loophole, you know? It's like Windows 10 booting in the boot loop and that's what happened to me I, I, I managed to get in the boot loop because it was a situation where at least the argument was argument now it's not only the bedtime that was early in the summertime because you know remember this is summer this is when after school was ending and this is my mom lets me you know stay up till late at least 10 o'clock that was an that was an maximum and at the time that was amazing you know now we obviously got 12 and that's because I'm older and that's it but back in the day Staying up to 10 was the best time ever. I'm telling you, my siblings, my siblings now have it much luckier than, than I had back in the day. For instance, they get to stay up 12 at night. On weekdays, they get to stay up 10. Even if there's like school the next day. So that's, that's beautiful for them. For me, I had to go to sleep around 8.30 each night. You know, each night. This, this is when I was like six to Probably 14, even 14, 15. That's until like 16, things changed because I was in the rest of the facility and things different. I didn't technically 14, but you get the point. And then even then, even though I could stay up, the problem is like I was forced to go to sleep early because of my medicine. They could stay fine, friends would be fine, go back to sleep and they'll be fine. With me, I'm forced to go to sleep at a certain time, even, and now even too, with my meds, how much I could stay up. I have to fall asleep at a certain time, so that's why it's making videos for you guys. It's pretty hard. So let's continue. So Rock and Boulder, for instance, we just argue random stuff, just junk stuff. And Bo um, Boulder was the type to be very angry for, uh, at the kids for no reason. No reason. And it's caused more problems for the family. It was pretty ridiculous. Boulder was the type to like basically cause problems. Like basically going to war. That's a big issue, honestly. And Boulder, I know you're watching me. Avenue. I can't see 